Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Aha, uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph. Is there any here? There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear. These antiques look quite valuable. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. 
albeit was a club member. Where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's a terrible thing. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh! Not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Gumbled row. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I don't know. Possum Street. Possum Street. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? It's that way. Keaton Street. Cranham Street. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuma. Mr. Holmes, 
You must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles' stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened, suddenly there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years? Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It's not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. What's your opinion on Takun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Tekun Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekun Uman? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Sorry, I'm too busy to chant. A furnace for melting metal. A drawing of Takun Uman.
This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. <laughs> Caitlin up, Miss Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... I can't help myself. I must open this letter. I need to turn on the gas burner first. to open it with something sharp. Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. I need something to... That's it. Kate, I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony.
How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice, come back in. I can do it. See? <laughs> You're wonderful. I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Watson, stay alert, and you'll need to be quiet. This door is securely locked. I must find another way.
Something is blocking me. I can't move this. Something is blocking its path. I can't move this. Something is blocking its path. Others might see nothing here but feds, but there is more to it than that. Others might see nothing here but feds, but there is more to it than that. Others might see nothing here but feds, but there is more to it than that. Watson, I need your help. Watson, I need your help. I need a clear path.
The balcony doors open. I can't move it in that direction. I need a clear path.
Holmes, I'm here. Can you let me in? A Mayan pyramid. A slot. It appears to be part of some mechanism. There's a recurring theme that connects all of these sculptures. Marley is obviously an avid student of mechanics. Obviously for a dagger. Mayan period, I think. I'll need a dagger to work the mechanism. This dagger fits. Another statue of Takun Uman. So, Bernard Marley built a mechanical globe. This globe has space inside. It should be possible to open it. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. It's shut tight. It's closed. Hmm, locked. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman.
The chain doesn't fit here. 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 Thank you. 
It seems you found the key to the safe. The statue is in three parts. Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune. piece of a map in metal. This object evidently connects to something else. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. This should be the right place. Our man might be here. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down! I'm sorry, my dear colleague, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. He 
He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Mr. Byron is due for a consultation with Dr. Brunt. Our man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's... Hey! 
This table could serve as cover. This table could serve as cover. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me! Cover me! 